Good morning, y'all. Here we are. We're at the yard. Um, we're just doing my pre-trip, and the same thing happened with my lights again. My line is hanging out. <clears throat> Started my trailer pre-trip. Pre <laughs> Sound like I have a list. Um, started my trailer pre-trip and what do you know oh you gotta love it gotta love the the loves mechanics right what can i say all i literally did was pull up out of my parking spot to do my pre-trip so i didn't have to get in between the trailers walked out seen this hanging out <sighs> I do not know why this is happening. Looks like the bracket is just breaking. I wonder if the Loves employee just super glued the same bracket on there. I don't know, but so this is a new load, guys. This is a different load. It's a tarp load, different from the 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 load that i started with in my previous video it's different it's just some some long pieces of metal this load is about sixteen thousand pounds and it's going to laredo texas it's supposed to be there tomorrow morning and this is just setting me back setting me back man it's foggy today i think my they're trying to get a mechanic out here their mechanic is on vacation so they don't want to bother him Sorry, I didn't want to do that to you, Denny. But I'm stuck now. But I apparently, I think he said loves or another mechanic can't come out till tomorrow. So that will not do. That will not work for me. So my boss, Jason, said he's going to come and check it out. And see if he can see what's causing this. But it looks like the bracket's just breaking. And then the line falls and my fuse goes out to my trailer. That's what I'm thinking. But we'll just wait and see. Hi, Ziki. Hi, Ziki. There's Jason. <laughs> He's like, man, what? What's the problem now? <laughs> replacement bracket for this part so he's gonna try to fix it let's see if he can get her done You sure you know what you're doing, Jason? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. The boss, who's not a mechanic, is going to try to fix this thing up. I don't know how I like this or not. But if it gets me back on the road, I like it. Alright y'all, so I'm still sitting in this garage waiting to be fixed up. Jason, my boss, just went to the Loves because he had the wrong part for uh, my lights, unfortunately. <laughs> what you doing, Benji? Well, I don't want the bed. How to do that. Alright, well, the thing I've been wanting to show you guys is this brand spanking new cooler I got from Bodega Cooler. Ooh, ooh. Sexy. It's a sexy looking cooler. Looking real fancy. I just took some food out of here from last week. Ugh. Let me get up here and show y'all. So this is the the outside of it. Guys, this is pretty freaking cool. I just got it. It's brand new. It's got some wheels on it. So it's easy to move around. It's got handles on both sides. Um... <clears throat> 
and it's got a temperature controller. This square box is the refrigerator and this Tetris looking thing <laughs> is uh, the freezer. So you can see obviously they're set at different temperatures. Uh, it's touch screen. It is touch screen. Pretty snazzy, pretty snazzy. I hope y'all are liking it. <laughs> it's pretty sexy, huh? So this side's the freezer right here. I just, I took most of the food I had in here. Um, some of it was halfway ate and some of it went bad because I didn't get to eat it. This is what I brought for this week. Some chicken, veggies, and white rice. I got two of these containers. But now since this is kind of, my light is messed up, I might go home and cook some more food for this week because this is all I have and another like tiny like container like this big that has chicken in it got some teriyaki sauce in this b and some salad dressing which the salad is what i'm gonna have to throw away and some veggies because i didn't get to them and they're all old and raunchy so yeah guys this is my cooler it does work really good it freezes my food i got some chicken patties in here um, those probably aren't really healthy, but it's better than what's out here on the road. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. So this cooler is really helping me do that. It's, I wouldn't even call it a cooler. It's basically like a fridge. It's literally a fridge. It's pretty freaking cool. Leave my um, <clears throat> APU unit running. And this baby has stayed on the whole time. This is the power, the power cord right here. It just plugs into the side. It kind of looks like a laptop thingy. And I just plug it in right there where I plug in my brand new lights, fancy lights. <laughs> I also got, you're probably wondering where I got the cook. I don't know if I showed you guys this in the last video, but I got an air fryer as well. I did not want one this big. I want one smaller, so I'm going to change that out. <clears throat> this is another PS5 I got. It's not mine. It's a gift for my little sister because she's starting to be in interested in video games i don't think it's actually because of her though i think it's because of boys but it's okay she wants to play video games so we're gonna let her play video games hi jiki hi jiki poo and that's the stuff i'm about to take home because my boss isn't here yet so i'm about to head back home and throw that out real quick because i don't have it on my truck wash the containers and maybe cook some more should we bring some more food for this week huh huh you little sh <laughs> So I'm about to take this stuff to my house real quick, throw it out, and wash the containers. And hopefully I'm back before Jason is, because he still went to go get the parts. He's still out and about. Be back, babies. I'll be back. Be good boy, Ziki. You stay there. Stay there, Ziki. <laughs> Yeah. This one's kind of crowded and nasty. Um, you might want to check to make sure it's coming on. Now, I've wired it, but I haven't taped it until you confirm that, that, it's working. that it's working. But it should be good to go. Also, I went ahead and fixed this for you while I was at it. So. Okay. Um, All right, let's see if it works. Let's see if I'm more than I want to see, try to get in. I want to see if they mark at you. Did you actually try to get no, in? No, I swear. I... Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're not doing nothing. Yeah, you're they're poodles. Right they're poodles, Jason. They did not like me climbing up on the hill. I swear. Right. Also, this is in the middle. So, uh -oh. I just put it right here for you. Why is that one not on? Why are None of my lights are on now. It might be that fuse again. 
Then he changed. All right, y'all. So I'm still waiting. I went to the store, got some food to fill my fridge up with, and I got some got some bread for sandwiches. I already smashed it. Got a bag of iceberg lettuce. I know romaine is better. I got some more uh, tuna packs. Got some pork chops and some chicken and some fresheners for my truck to make it smell good because you guys stink. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to put this stuff in my cooler right quick, my refrigerator. I'm gonna put one in my fridge as well. My fridge, uh, yeah, I'll put this one in there. And I'll put, uh, I'm, no, I'm gonna put the chicken in the freezer because I'm not gonna use the chicken right now. And then I'm gonna put this in my fridge down at the bottom of my truck. I just kicked one of the dogs in the face. I'm sorry. And then, this is some more chicken I brought. And I got some creamer. I got my Starbucks latte stuff in here. Got all the goody goodies. All right, let's check out. Oh, and I got, these containers are awesome, guys. I love these. It's glass, so it keeps your food fresh longer. Gotta get y'all some of these. So we're still working on this. Jason fixed one thing and then broke another one. No, Jason fixed one <laughs> of the three problems. What are we gonna do, Ziki? What are we gonna do? So we found one fuse blown over here, which was I think it was it was K20, which was our trailer hotline. But we still have a couple of lights out, but all the fuses that you would think it would be is not it plus not including the broken pigtail so i'm not sure it might be a broken wire within the trailer i pulled out the multimeter and tested it everything seemed to test good but i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out it won't take we need denny there's, there's dennis the menace right there <laughs> we need denny benji well hello dennis Hey, I'm over here. I got you on speaker here working with Miss Big Rig Becca. Um, <laughs> you know, she likes to break things for her content. <laughs> she got tore something up again. Yep, twice in one week. I ain't never gonna get her raised. Nope, <laughs> I know it, I know it. So, you know, um, I uh, so here's what we got going on. So I came over to the shop, her, uh, where you plug the pigtail in, it was, uh, the flange was, on the, trailer. on the trailer yeah the flange was broke um so I, I ran up to loves i called high tech but they couldn't come out today ran up to loves found a new pigtail uh plug-in piece uh, i replaced it and um some of the lights weren't working so initially i thought well maybe i did something wrong double check my wiring i was good there did find that there was a fuse blown uh in her truck so replaced that fuse and that got more of the lights working but a couple of the park lights on the trailer are still not working. And I've gone down this fuse panel, the uh, uh, the description, and I've looked at every single fuse that could possibly, well, in my mind, could possibly be that. Um, and and looked at them all. Like I said, only one needed to be replaced. I'm just not sure what uh, what to do now. What, what, you got any suggestions? It's the yellow Which, marker lights, Denny. The, yeah, the yellow marker lights on the cor front corners of the trailer. On the front corners? Yep. Uh, have you, you said the flange was broke. You talking about where on the trailer? Yes, yeah, on the. On that the green, the green light plugs into. Well, uh, right there where the glad hands are protruding from the trailer as well. Uh, okay. And uh, look, it does where it uh, where it plugs in. Uh huh. 
look inside there, does it does, does the pegs have little slits in them? Uh, slits? Uh, oh, on the you talking about on the marker lights? Well, on, on any of the. Uh, uh, now, now on the pigtail piece, it was actually, um, I, I actually had to wind up going to Love's to get the correct pigtail flange thing because it, we did not have one in stock and it, because when you, when I removed it, it, this is one where it screw, uh, it has like seven screws in the back. Um, and so, um, it, like, uh, normally, like I said, it's where they, it slides on or whatever. But this is this is where you actually had to screw it to the back. Matter of fact, I will send you a picture. Well, Thank you. We're doing the stuff Denny told us to do right now. Yellow, Denny. Hey, hey. It's still not working. Okay. Okay, and I did find another fuse box, and one of the fuses in there was blown. Um, so. Um, and it says marker lights. Um, uh, yep. And so I replaced it with a new one, but still no action. Okay. Yep. So let's see here. Nope. Come on. <sighs> okay. Well, we're narrowing this down, man. So. Yeah, no, it's plugged in good, and the little flap that goes over the top, the cover, is uh, <laughs> um, is like locking it in. So um, I'm talking about the light. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you see here. Yeah, let me just flip it around, make sure it's not backwards or anything. Might wiggle it a little bit, wiggle okay. the plug a little bit, and stuff. Yeah, no, I'll no put joy. It on for a second. <laughs> you said it did. I thought it turned on, but it oh, didn't. no, no joy. No joy, so. Okay, okay well, I'm going to... All right, hey, I appreciate it, man. Thanks, right. Danny. Thank you, Danny. All right. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget your popcorn. Thank you, Jason. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Say thank you. Say thank you. Uh-oh, Jason figured it out. So it was under the hood then? Yeah, there, so you have two fuse boxes. Holy one shit, that light's bright. One, one fuse box is underneath the footwell, and then the other, and I didn't know this, luckily did not get the other one is on the front of, or underneath the hood of your truck. So we got it fixed. We got it fixed, Benji! Jason for all your help. See you later and happy holidays because I won't see you again till after them. We are finally heading out now. My boss Jason got us all fixed up. We are in the, at the yard right now at a Van Buren, Arkansas and we are headed to Laredo, Texas. So right now we're 713 miles out, <laughs> full shift. I didn't get anywhere, kind of set me back. That's what's crazy about trucking guys. You can be as early, you can start your day as early as four in the morning. Sometimes you still won't get out till 11 o'clock in the afternoon. 
those days suck, but hey, we still got time to get there by tonight. We still can deliver in the morning. As of right now, hopefully nothing else happens, crossing my fingers, but for right now, we're staying positive and getting our butts down the road. I also want to wish everybody a, a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. I know it's a little bit early, but I like to say it early to the people that I don't see. Like, I just seen Jason, told him happy holidays, and oop, now I'm on my way down the road. So I had to stop at a Love's, get some fuel, and uh, check my air pressure. I went and got a tire gauge because I lost the one that I originally had. So I went and bought one, checked the tire. That weigh station that I had here, I had to check my... <laughs> Sorry, I'm all over the place. I had to check my air because the cop was saying that I might have a flat tire on my third axle. So I bought a new tire gauge, checked my air, and everything was all fine. Um, so I got fuel. I needed to fuel here anyways, and I heated up my home-cooked food that I brought. I brought two of these meals with me this week, but the rest, when I run out of this, I'm going to have to start cooking in my air fryer, which I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm excited for it or not. I don't, I don't like cleaning up messes over the road, but uh, I'm going to dig in. It's got some teriyaki sauce on here, some chicken, veggies, and white rice. So I'm going to dig in, and uh, we're about to take off. We are in Texas now, guys. Just made a pit stop to let the doggies out. I'm gonna let them out in this nice grass area right here. As you can see, my lights are working. Yes, sir. Get that down pat. Why are you choking yourself? Oh, I did not mean to let his leash go. Hold on, don't pee on your leash. I like to pee on everything. Oh, there's wet mud right there, Benji. You better not go in there. This is why I don't let you guys out at the same time. <clears throat> We're about an hour from Dallas. We, we drove through Dallas about an hour ago. That's where all that traffic was. By the way, guys, sorry, you guys are probably hearing me sniffle and everything. I got a new mic, a new one from the last new one that I said. I'm hoping you guys like this one better and it sounds better. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about it, if it's an improvement. <laughs> I bought them a cool new toy this week. I want to show you guys. I want to try, try to try it out this week. It's pretty snazzy. It's a pretty snazzy toy, Zeke. Look, these people are still parking in front of no parking signs, and there's a bunch of empty parking spots. <laughs> Load still looking nice and freshly tarped. Okay. A1 tarp job. You see that tarp job, Benji? You see that tarp job, Benji? You can't get those like, the, like that anywhere else. You see that, Benji? <laughs> All right, you guys get one peanut butter soft chew, okay? Go boy, Zeke. What do you got to do, Benji, for this treat? You got to sit down. Sit. Good boy. Oh, you're licking them lips. Are you licking them lips? Give me paw. <laughs> Give me paw, Zeke. <laughs> Good boys. All right, hold on. Oh, shoot. You guys get one each for going potty. Good boys. Benji, sit down. Good boys. Now let's get back on the road. 
back on the road. Alright y'all, I'll probably do a voiceover right here. We are getting ready for bed now. Get down that Bailey, commune on the wobbly bench. Got Zeke Poo there. It's so long Benji since I've there. had a heart to heart on a swing set. I had to stop because I'm getting out the other inmates. Good morning y'all. We just woke up, let the dogs out. Went to the bathroom ourselves. Got a, uh, I got a torta <laughs> for today. I know I got my food in my truck, but I'm gonna be in a rush today, guys. We are going to Laredo. I already know it's gonna be one hell of a day. Delivering and picking up there, so I'm not looking forward to this, but I'm about an hour out. <clears throat> I, I am really not looking forward to this, I'll tell you what. Half of my day, maybe more than half of my day, is going to be based in Laredo. But it's okay, we're going to make it out, baby. We're going to make it out. This place that I'm delivering to looks like it barely even has room for us to pull in and untarp and deliver. I looked at it on satellite view and it looks like mostly everybody parks on the parallel parks on the street. So this is gonna be very interesting, very interesting. It's gonna be a headache today, boy. see y'all in Laredo. Peace. We made it. We made it to Laredo. We are at the delivery. I went and checked in already. Getting ahead of the game. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I went and checked in. Not a lot of people know English here. Uh, he thought I was a van driver. I said, uh, no, I have a flatbed, a step deck, and a He's like, oh, okay, just stay there for now until we figure out what it is. But he told me not to untarp it, just to unstrap it and then keep it tarped because you don't know what it is yet. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm about to get untarping, I mean, <laughs> untarping, unstrapping, and then wait for them to come check it out. And then I can finally get this tarp off. Hopefully nobody parks on the other side next to me over there because that's where I plan on rolling up my tarp. I think I got here at the perfect time, guys. I looked at this place on satellite view, man, there was step deck, I mean, uh, flat open deck drivers, like, all tarped up on the street and stuff, and I'm like, oh gosh, I have to try to find street parking, then I gotta untarp in the street, but doesn't look like that's the case today, came at the perfect time, it made perfect time today, baby. started taking some of my bungees off because I'm sure he's gonna want to lift this up so it's gonna be hard to look at what it is with all these bungees on there I got them on there pretty tight get my gloves back on sorry guys I think I'm getting sick I keep forgetting I got this mic on you can probably hear everything I'm doing with my nose right now you know what I think it is I think it's because I went from being in the cold weather, it's been cold in Arkansas. And then I'm in the hot weather now. It's like 82 degrees right now in Laredo, Texas. So that might be why, but I honestly feel like it started when I was in Arkansas. I felt like clogginess in my throat. <laughs> 
but I hope this place don't take too long. I think I got way too excited when I first came in here and the guy came out, like I got to talk to somebody right away because I thought it was going to be even longer to even be able to talk to somebody. So I hope that I didn't get my hopes up and think this was going to be a fast process when it's really not going to be. <laughs> but it is what it is. I got, I got till 5 p.m. to pick up my next load and it's also in Laredo. Who are you barking at? Don't bark at him. He's the guy we've talked to. He's the good one. All right, I'm just gonna take some bungees off of this side now. All right, quick, right, quick. He might come and look at it because that was the guy that I spoke to that Zeke is barking at. It was so funny, my boss Jason was trying to get in my truck yesterday to fix my lights. And he said when I wasn't there, I went and took some old food home. And he said when I wasn't there, the dogs were barking at him like they were protecting my truck basically. He said they sounded really nasty and I was like, okay, show me what they, I wanna see what they were doing when I showed up. I like stood by the garage door, the, the shop door and told them to get into the truck. And they didn't do nothing, they just sat there. So they were protecting mama's truck when, when mama wasn't there. It's a good thing to know, ain't nobody, get, ain't nobody gonna get into my truck with my two little poodles, two little fluffy poodle dogs. I didn't know they were my guard dogs. I guess looks can be deceiving, am I right? Man, it's been a long day, huh, guys? Huh? It's been a long day in Laredo. Huh? We just ran into um, a nice man named Felipe. We talked for a bit. He knows me from my YouTube channel. He see me walking back to my truck after I checked in here at this automated logistics systems in Laredo, Texas. Um, he almost made me miss my shot at getting loaded. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just just messing this is my load right here that they're bringing out on these pallets these little circle uh rolled rings it's called so that's what we're getting today you guys ready to get out of laredo are you guys ready mom is ready this is another tarp load guys my dispatcher's trying to get me a workout i think he's seen that i gained weight he's like this girl needs to lose some weight i need to put her to work huh he's getting me all these damn tarp loads Woo. But for now, I'm going to end this video here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. <laughs>